State is hiring Sean Lewis, who previously served as the offensive coordinator for University of Colorado Boulder. CBS 8's Jake Gariani at Snapdragon Stadium also spent some time with uh, Kent State, I believe, right? Yeah, that's right, Eric and Kerry. A very exciting day here at Snapdragon Stadium. You mentioned Sean Lewis, now the 19th head coach in San Diego State football history, and this is going to be exciting. He brings something that we haven't seen here with the Aztecs in a very long time, a high-flying, high-powered, spread-it-out kind of offense. Very different from the run game we have seen for the last decade in change here at Snapdragon Stadium and Jack Murphy. Today, we got to catch up with Sean Lewis, and as you mentioned, Eric, he spent five years as the head coach at Kent State, where he kind of brought that program to new heights. They were a very poor program before he got there. He came in, changed the entire offense, led the uh, nation in scoring in 2020, the COVID-shortened year, and just brought a lot to the Golden Flashes, took them to two bowl games, got their uh, first ever bowl win for Kent State. And then, yes, he left the head coaching job to become an offensive coordinator with primetime Deion Sanders out there in Boulder. And they took the college football world by storm in particular particularly their offense. They scored 40 points in four of their first seven games. Now, I do have to mention, he was eventually demoted as the play caller there in Colorado. Personally, I don't think it had a whole lot to do with Sean Lewis. More or less, that entire offense really struggled on the offensive line. But it is an exciting day, as I mentioned, here at Snapdragon Stadium because offense is coming to San Diego State. We asked Sean Lewis, why did you take this job? Here's what he had to say. It is the best group of five job that is available and the way that the college football world is expanding and improving. There was nowhere else that I, that I wanted to be um, as we talked about it as a family and I talked more and more with the leadership team that was here and you know weighed it out against the other opportunities that were put forth in front of us. There, there really was no decision to it that this is where we wanted to be and this is where we felt that we could achieve greatness collectively together. You know, fans need to get their tickets now because they're not going to be tickets available very soon with the product that we're going to put on the field, and I'm excited to get rolling with it. And I love the confidence. He says you got to go get your tickets right now. Something the Aztecs have, of course, had some trouble selling tickets here at Snapdragon Stadium. So hopefully this new high-flying, high-powered offense will be able to get Snapdragon Stadium jumping. And again, guys, Sean Lewis and uh, Athletic Director J.D. Wicker had talked with big expectations. In fact, they said with the college football playoff expanding, they expect the San Diego State Aztecs to compete for bids in the college football playoff. A far cry from a team that went 4-8 and eight a year ago. Sean Lewis, the new head coach here at Snapdragon Stadium, and for the Aztecs, Eric and Kerry. All right, Jake, and uh, an emotional guy, too. I was watching some of the press conference. I, I heard him tear up a little bit when he was thanking his family. It's sometimes good to see these coaches just aren't, you know, brick walls. That they, they're emotional and they're passionate. Eric, it's a great point. You know, you mentioned he teared up when he was talking about his family. The thing everybody says about Sean Lewis is he relates to his players. And I can speak on that after hearing him talk all day. He truly cares about the players. When he talked about being demoted as the play caller, he said, yeah, it was a little tough at first, but really my idea of serving the players is all I needed. It was about putting them in the best position. So any capacity I can do that, I accept that. He said, I was washing jerseys as a high school coach just to make the players' lives easier. So he is an emotional guy. I love that about him and he cares about the players and hopefully that pays off when it comes to wins and losses on this field behind me.